The Scottish Government's Dynamic Coast Project is using the latest projections to establish how rates and extents of erosion will change into the future and identify which of society's assets and communities are most at risk. Dynamic Coast has already identified a 40% increase in the extent of erosion and a doubling of erosion rates to one metre per year across Scotland's erodible shores since the 1970s. Of course, erosion can undermine coastal buildings and infrastructure, but it also has implications for current and future flood risks. Scotland's beaches and marshes protect £13 billion worth of assets, far more than the £5 billion worth protected by engineered seawalls. This is why the Scottish Government, Scottish Natural Heritage and the Scottish Environmental Protection Agency recognise the importance of these natural defences and are keen to safeguard them as an essential part of Scotland's natural capital. So what's changing? Coastal stability is influenced by changes in sea level, sediment supply and wave climate. Concentrating on relative sea level rise, the Aberdeen tide gauge shows 12 centimetres of rise since the 1900s, with an extra 30 to 92 centimetres expected within our children's lifetimes if emissions continue as they are at present. The Clyde receives the greatest long-term land uplift following the last glaciation, but this is slower than present rates of sea level rise. As such, Millport can expect between 29 and 89 centimetres of rise by the end of the century. If global emissions continue as they are at present, it's likely that all of Scotland's ports will experience up to 30 to 40 centimetres of sea level rise in the next 30 years. Sediment supply is the lifeblood of Scotland's beaches, but it can be reduced by coastal defences, dredging of navigation channels as well. Scotland's wave climate changes depend upon our weather, but all three factors, sea level, sediment supply and wave climate, are now driving much more rapid coastal change than we're used to. Erosion will become more commonplace quicker and flooding will become more frequent. Our research informs a growing need for adaptation planning to ensure Scotland's coastal communities, assets and infrastructure become resilient. Some may need higher defences, but elsewhere, adapting and building with nature will help coasts remain resilient and continue to be a scenic and thriving place for generations to come. Dynamic Coast is working with local partners at Montrose and St Andrews, amongst other places, to identify future risks and consider how climate change impacts can be managed. We're using historic shoreline positions and wave data to model recent changes and project them into the future. Numerical modelling and time-lapse volumetric analysis of coastal changes will feed back into improvements in the dynamic coast maps, which are available for local authority and other partners to inform risk assessments and adaptation strategies. For more information on coastal erosion in Scotland, please visit dynamiccoast.com.